So this short video is going to try and explain to you um, rounding. Let's suppose that I've measured um, the length of a leaf and I said it's 7 centimetres to the nearest centimetre. So it will really help you if I put this on a number line. So if I mark 7 there, and then if I mark 8 there, and I mark 6 there, then let's talk about well, what could the lowest and the highest measurements actually have been for this, uh, this leaf. Because all we know is it's 7 to the nearest centimetre. So your cutoff points are the halfway points between the next centimetre above 7, which is 8, and the next centimetre below 7, which is 6. So we could have been anywhere between 6.5 and 7.5. So if we're asked the question, what's the least possible length of the, le of the, le the leaf, least possible length, then we will say it's 6.5 centimetres. It could have been as low as 6.5. When I told you the measurement, I didn't say it's exactly 7. I said to the nearest centimetre, it's 7. So the least is 6.5. What is the greatest possible length? Now, some people don't like writing 7.5 because they say that rounds up to 8. Some people put in 7.4999 and recurring. But in fact, in the exams, they're quite happy if you put 7.5 centimetres. There's nothing um, wrong with that at all, okay? Because 7.4999999 is basically 7.5. So that's fairly simple. Um, what about if we round it to say the nearest 10 centimeters? So let's say I've measured something, say I've measured a book and I say the book is 40 centimeters to the nearest 10 centimeters. So again, if we look at 40, nearest 10 centimeters above it is 50, below it is 30, your halfway points will be at 35 and 45. So 35 is the least could be and 45 is the greatest. More than likely we'll get a question um, like the top one. There has been the odd one further up the GCSE higher paper which might say something like this to the nearest five. So let's say that I've given you um, the number 85 it's been written to the nearest five. What's the highest it could be and what's the lowest it could be? Well, the next five is 90 and the five below is 80. But if we're closest to 85, then our halfway points between 80 and 85 are 82.5 and 87.5. So those become the least and the greatest values. We could have been, if we're rounded, to the nearest five. This often um, confuses people. There's an interesting note, look, the length of the interval is five for the nearest five. The length of the interval for the nearest ten between 35 and 45 is ten. And the length of the interval for one centimetre between 6.5 and 7.5 is one. So it kind of makes um, sense. This though, this one here, is the most common one that comes up in exams. So seven centimetres to the nearest centimetre the lowest it could be is 6.5, the most it could be is 7.5.